Hi, my name is Andrew Polsom. I'm in my fourth year of industrial systems engineering at the University of Regina. For my fourth year project, I built an automated baby cradle designed to simulate the rocking and rolling motions of a moving vehicle. One of this project's main features is that it's sound activated throughout the night without any intervention from the parents or guardians. I'll now demonstrate the features of this project. To begin manual operation, press start. The cradle begins moving in a gentle rhythmic motion which studies have shown to be particularly effective in calming an agitated infant. The soothing sounds of the motor are similar to white noise generators which assist the child in falling asleep. Pressing the reset button will restart the timing sequence. Press start to re-engage the motor. Pressing the red emergency stop button will immediately cut power to the motor. A unique and important feature of this project is the sound activation circuitry. At any point throughout the night, if the infant cries, the timing circuit will self-activate, soothing the baby back to sleep without requiring any action from the caregivers. There is no limit to the number of times this feature can be activated, allowing the parents and the baby to attain a full night's rest. Power is supplied through a 1 8 horsepower AC motor. This drives a 6 to 1 ratio double reduction pulley system, reducing the rotational speed from 120 RPM to 20 RPM. A sprocket and chain system ensures that the cradle is rotated at precise speeds on both ends. The main shaft is made of half inch steel and guided through roller bearings to reduce any friction losses or mechanical wear on the system. Extensive testing determined that an offset of 30 degrees on one of the rotators achieved the motion that was sought. Not just a swinging motion, but a motion that simulated the rocking of a moving vehicle. In conclusion, this prototype has met many of my objectives. However, there are some improvements that I would undertake in a second generation construction. There is a danger of pinch points between the slats and the support rail. Perhaps the use of a mesh siding would mitigate this risk.